Well, good morning, cyber traders, and welcome on this lovely October 2nd. We are ready to uh, move into hump day. We know Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are the best days to trade, so we're going to go out there and see what's going on. But before we do that, guys, let's talk about what happened yesterday because yesterday was another killer day. We're going to talk about some of the big winners that we had. We had a couple of good, nice moving stocks, and uh, we're going to check them out really quick. A couple, And a lot of people did really, really, really well yesterday. And um, a couple of, I'm going to do a couple of shout-outs. But the big winner yesterday was the AMRN. Let me just bring that up over here. So the AMRN, um, right out of the gate, you could see that was a stock that was kind of gapped up from $3, went to about 9 things shot up all the way to 18 uh, This in pre-market, we, we had a nice little pre-market at 9 o'clock, and it just shot all the way up to about, uh, what is that, 16 to, was it 17, roughly about 19 I mean, it's backing off now in the middle of the day, but a lot of us were done yesterday. But I want to do a quick little shout out to Donna. Donna made, <coughs> excuse me, she in two trades, she made 40 cents and then she made 57 cents. She's been doing unbelievable with her coaching over the last month. And, uh, you know, listen, let's just give Donna a round of applause. She came a long, long way and she's doing great. Way to go, Donna. All right. So the thing is, guys, when um, you, you take the classes here at Cybertrain University and we tell you, once you get to like maybe your second cycle, third cycle of taking the classes within your second and third month, month then you want to do that, at, that extra help with the, with the instructors and um, that kind of tweak and fine tune. You know, you know, everybody wants to talk to someone and tell me, what am I doing wrong? Listen, you got to be in class just like you went to school. You just don't go to school and says, oh, I want to have an exclusivity with, with the professor. You know, you, you got to be in class. You got to hear from everyone else. And then we have to tweak it. And she's doing great. So that was phenomenal. I want to give her a big uh, round of applause. Another couple other uh, big winners, uh, not, including, uh, not including this AMRN, was the, uh, which, McCall, which was the, which one was it? The IGC. I mean, IGC, guys, was just off the charts. All right, and I want to do a big shout out to Kathleen M. She made three dollars and forty-two cents on a swing trade over the weekend. Let's give her a round of applause. There you go. Once I tell you, and another thing I told you, everyone, to be a very good swing trader, you have to be a good option. Uh, you have to be a good stock day trader first. To be a good options trader, you first have to learn how to day trade. Then you got to swing trade. And then if you're good at swing, then you do an option trade, okay? But you can't, I, I, you know, I talk to a lot of people, and the first thing people think is they jump right to options. I'm like, listen, that's, options are great, but you got you to gotta understand what stocks are moving first before you know what options to play. You know, this, there's like a thousand ways of trading options. You know how, you know how many ways of trading stocks? Two ways. But go long and go short. That's it. All right? So uh, it's not, not as complicated as people make it. Anyway. Uh, we're going to be talking a lot about the big winners today. Josh is doing Traders Talk. So, guys, do not forget uh, that we are going to be having Traders Talk today, and we're going to specifically talk about the, G uh, the IGC of that big, big winner. But a lot of great, a lot of big movers that went up. John B. did really well, 33 cents. By the way, that was the uh, – let me bring up – this one's another one's moving this morning. So, anyway, the – the BN, the B, uh, the NBE van. Look at this one right here. A dollar to about eight dollars, guys. When do you see that stuff? Where do you find stuff like that? But I want to do a couple of shout outs because a lot of people did pretty well. Uh, John made uh, John B made thirty three cents. Mary Beth made twenty one cents and picked up another eighteen cents in in the ICG. Uh, Kathleen made twenty cents. Great, great round of applause, guys, all across the board. You guys are doing great. So. Uh, Anyway, now let's talk about what's going on this morning because there are a couple of stocks that are moving. And what have happened yesterday? Remember, that is the past, okay? We'll put in those in the archive, and let's focus on today. Fortunately, because there were some good day trades, some of them did trickle down to a nice little swing trade. But once again, it's not done. It's got to be done into design, not by done by you don't want to take a loss and done by mistake. But there are a couple of stocks that I did found this morning. I did put an announcement early this morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's already 9 o'clock this morning. Some of you already made good money this morning on a couple of stocks. Um, who did really well this morning? Oh, Neil did great. He already traded the, CL, the CLRB. 
He made about 44 cents. Give him a round of applause. All right, so that one's going to be the first one we're going to look at right now, CLRB. So look how beautiful that stock was in pre-market. Let me just fix the time frame here and make this a two-minute chart. Actually, maybe even a one-minute to be a little bit better. But you can see the stock started this morning. Um, a lot of us jumped in around 8.30 this morning, went from $4, $4 shot away to about four seventy. Stock looked like it's going to looks like it's filling in the gap fill right here if it does it could probably go go all the way up to that uh above that uh what is that five dollar price range right there so that one looks pretty good that one's going to make the watch list d t e a is another one's going on the fausto watch list right there so the only thing i the reason i'm not super super sold on this stock but it is up 38 percent 1.3 million shares traded and if you notice right here, we're from three all the way to four and five in one day. So I'm going to put that one on the watch list um, as of right now. The OM, OMBR, just want to bring this up really quick. It's coming up, hold on. Okay, right here. The, o, um, the OGEN right here. This is another one that some of us guys have been trading that's doing pretty well. This one right here has got a nice little push. She, she was kind of flat this morning. She's got some resistance levels. The, yeah, the OG, it took, it, it's taking off, right, Andrea? I'm, I'm saying, yeah, you're right. I mean, it already popped about 19 cents in about five minutes. So great iceberg orders. Look over here, 13,000, 3,000. Remember how we use those big iceberg, 15, 16,000. You know, these, all these big things are making, look, that guy's sitting there because of the resistance levels right there. So we got, you know, this has got some great movement. I really like this one a lot. I think everyone's going to have fun trading this one, being up 37%. A lot of you do remember this stock. Listen, it became, a, we traded it yesterday. And let me just bring up yesterday's time frame. We traded it yesterday. It had a little bit of a pop right here when it was down to about $1.30, went to $1.80. Look, it's already at two nineteen. So this one's kind of turning over into a little bit of a swing trade. So, and, and if I go back a little bit further... You can see that stock was down here. Look how beautiful that chart is. So definitely great movement on this one. It's going to make the nice Fausto list right here in pre-market. And uh, what was that? I mean? We got OBG. Okay, two more. IGC, we already know about. The only thing I didn't like about this stock, it's starting to back off. Now, once again, we've made so much money with this stock, guys. We killed it with this one. $2 to $9 in three days. You guys, and yesterday's close. My God, look at that. Three o'clock, look at that, 1,500 hours. It went from eight all the way up to about 12 in after hours. They did not stop, you know, and I know some of you guys were trading it after hours, but the only thing I'm a little concerned about, Fausto flag right here, making lower lows. It's up a lot. And what do we know about short squeezes, guys? They always come down, all right? Last but not least, I'm going to put back on the watch list, which we all know about, the MBEV. So this one also... New, uh, this one is just another one. It's just, it, it just doesn't stop. But she made, it, she made the watch list. She, um, she did great going into the close, backing off right here, and eh, we'll keep a close eye on it. So what do we got? We got, this, you got the CLRB, the, D, the, the DT, DTEA, the OGEN, the IGC, and the NBEV. So we pretty much got all of it. I think a lot of you did pretty well. Uh, Mary Beth made 15 cents just now in IGC. All right, way to go, Mary Beth. Give her a round of applause. Join the team. Okay, John just has me to check one more. The, uh, the, the L-E-V-B. You know what? I had it this morning, right? It's up a little bit. It's, got, it's up 4%. It's just, I don't know. It's not really training, a jo uh, Joanna. Um, it's kind of flatlined right here. That's the only thing I was a little concerned about. I wasn't too sold on it. Ken made uh, 17 cents on 4,000 shares. Hey, you remember out of a point. There you go. Look at everyone making money or pre-market. Isn't it nice to start the morning already positive? That's just great. All right, guys. So listen, let's get ready. Don't forget, Traders Talk today, hump day this week. Um, in two weeks, we have the on-site class. Uh, so hopefully everyone booked their hotels, took care of everything. Make sure you talk to the staff. If you got any food allergies or whatever, remember we have, uh, we have a celebrity chef that's going to be cooking us for that night. So if there's anything special you like, let us know. I'll have them prepare for you. But remember, phase, uh, the phase four, the on-site, get prepared, guys, because that's where we're going to do a lot of trading 
This is where we're all going to take everything and put a lot of it to the test. And then also, if you do have any coaching scheduled uh, for on-site, please make sure you're already, already booked up. Guys, good luck today. Happy trading. See you at 2.30.